Hi. Hey. Nice wallpaper, sir. Thank you. Are you currently in your home? I'm in one of them. <laughs> it's beautiful, too. I love you so much. I've been your fan since I heard because uh, I love you and all that. And so much is happening in your world. Uh, you have your shapewear brand, Giddy. Your new singles are fire. Your BET Awards performance was phenomenal. So much is going on. But how are you right now? How's your headspace like? I'm feeling good as hell. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm surviving. I think, you know, we've been in survival mode since 2020 hit. And... Um, I think that um, every day is a good day if you can if you can make it through. And so I'm just, in t you know, very grateful. I think gratitude is the place that I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to live in a space of gratitude and helpfulness. How can I be helpful and how can I just remain grateful and balanced? <laughs> yeah. And you are showing us a lot of great content on TikTok as well and motivating us, inspiring us. So I love that. Uh, but talking about your upcoming album special, when did the writing process for this start? Did it start in the pandemic, in the deep end of it? Um, it started <sighs> a little bit before that. I think um, I started kind of writing songs like the summer before. So like summer 2019, I was taking a little time to like dive into the new era but um i really didn't start making the songs that are gonna that are on special until like after i put out rumors i think i needed to like vent and get a lot of things off my chest and like um express myself and release and then i was able to find the songs you know about yeah. damn time <laughs> love that um and what's the energy behind special what's the vibe the energy is love i think it's uh it's it's a dark time it, it's a scary time and i think like the only way sometimes i can get out of a place of fear is getting into a place of love so this album is made with a lot of love and um I hope that the album exudes that. Yeah, and why do you choose to call it special? I call I named it after a song on the album called Special, which I love so much. Um, I feel like this song is very important, one of the most important songs I've ever written, at least for myself. And um, I felt like there was no other song on the album that could encapsulate every song like this one so special like the album special i'm special you're special we all special i love that now uh, i want to i want you to take us to your process um specifically when you're done with your songs right like the mixing and all that where do you listen to the album to quality check it because i know some artists like they like to take yeah. it for a spin the car like what what's Hell your yeah yeah i do the car i'm i am such a cliche i sit in the and i blast it um and i drive around and a lot of times when i was on the way to the studio i would listen but i listen over and over after i've written a song i need the, the bounce of the song immediately because on my way home from the studio even if we had just wrote it that day, I need to listen to it over and over and over again. So yeah, a lot of quality control listens in the um, blasting unreleased Lizzo music. <laughs> <laughs> and who is in this space with you? Like, is there, other than your labels, you know, is there a group around you or someone whose opinion you really um, trust when you just finish a song? Well, it's interesting because it's normally I'm by myself um, and I don't really play my music for people until it's like ready, ready. Like, um, but when there's those special moments, I get so excited. I'll be like, oh my gosh. Like when I wrote Break Up Twice, um, I was like, I can't believe I just did this. Like, I got to play this for somebody. And um, 
uh a lot of times i play it for my managers like i get so excited i'm like i call my manager i'm like you gotta hear this song <laughs> um but yeah i i i kind of keep it to myself for the most part i like to present the album i like to present things to my friends and family all right and you do it in the t <laughs> like sometimes in the t yeah, I've played I played some demos for SZA in the I'll be like, can I play you some stuff? And she's like, okay, we sit in the and I'll like play her some songs. I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, love it. Okay, uh, Lizzo, you are the confidence queen. My final question to you is, a lot of people ask us as well, like how do you be so confident? Um, what's your sort of tip for people with that question? Mm, confidence is interesting because everyone has it, right? You're, you were born with confidence. I think as you grow up, we learn insecurity. So your confidence can kind of be buried in insecurities. I don't think your confidence shrinks. I don't think it goes away. I just think it gets buried. So I think like for me to find my confidence, it took a lot of kind of digging up, you know, my insecurities and throwing them away so I could get down to the confidence um, at the bottom of my insecurities. Yeah, yeah. Well, love it. Thank you so much for the chat. I can't wait for the album. And yeah. all the best. I love you. I just want Thank to say Thank you so that. much. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, enjoy your day. Bye.